Rectification is one of the first processes in converting AC signal into a pure DC. And this rectification is done through the use of the semiconductor diode. We are utilizing its reverse uh, region and forward bias region for this application. Now, uh, rectification is a process of converting an AC signal, which has a signal wave something like this, into a pulsating DC. It could be all positive or all negative, and this is done through a full wave, full wave rectifier. And if we are going to use a half wave rectifier, this particular AC signal will turn into something like this or on the negative side. So this again, this is this is done through the half wave uh, rectification. So let's discuss first the half wave rectification. This is done through the use of a single diode. For example, we have a circuit something like this. We have the V input plus and minus. Actually, the polarity of this V input changes every time because this is an AC signal. And then we connect that into a diode, rectifier diode connected to a load resistance RL. So what happens is at first cycle, we have the positive on top and we have the negative on the bottom. The diode conducts current because it is in the forward bias uh, region. So for the first uh, loop or first cycle of the signal, which has a graph of something like this. So this part here, the positive cycle, our output here is also a uh, positive value of this voltage, of the input voltage. Now, as the polarity changes, the positive on top will now become negative and the bottom will become positive because it's the way AC signal behaves. It changes polarity every time. And then we'll do the same loop again. But in this case, it is on the reverse bias region. So assuming that the peak inverse voltage of the diode is large enough that the V input cannot overcome, therefore, this circuit is considered as open circuit. And therefore, no voltage will be measured on the load resistance RL. So that is zero right here. And then if another cycle occurs that is but the positive cycle then we will um, continue the output here of a positive cycle and then the process goes on and on until we get a pulsating DC something like this now if we reverse the polarity of this particular diode here then the output uh, wave will become something like this. So that is on the negative cycle. It conducts during the negative cycle. Now to get the average DC voltage for this um, output wave right here, that is uh, the average DC is equivalent to 0.318 of the Vmax that is measured from here up to the top of the either positive or the negative wave cycle. So this is the VDC. Now, if we want to get a more accurate uh, reading of the V output and the VDC, we have to consider the threshold voltage of the diode being used. So we have, uh, we can, we can subtract the threshold voltage from the Vmax, so Vmax minus Vth. We can also use this one, but um, in common applications, the Vth 
is very small that its value is negligible and we can just use this approximate equation of VDC is equal to 0.318 V max. So let us have um, some examples. If we have a circuit here of VI connected to a diode and this is labeled as ideal diode. So this resistor is 2k ohms and the other one is 10k ohms. So we are looking for the current that goes through the 10 kilo ohms resistor. Another given is that uh, we have a VDC of 2 volts at this part right here. Okay. One of the given is the diode is ideal. Therefore, we are not going to use the threshold voltage for this particular problem. And again, recalling the equation that relates the V input and the VDC is the this one. That's 0.318 of Vmax. And um, Vmax is directly related to the V input. And since this is ideal, we need not to use the VTH. So this is um, 2 volts. That is equivalent to 0.318 of Vmax and our Vmax 6.289308 uh, volts and this is um, AC voltage. Now let's find the current I. We have here the VDC of 2 volts and since these two resistors are connected in parallel therefore 2 volts can be measured either on the 2 kilo ohm resistor or the 10 kilo ohm resistor. So to get I, that is just voltage divided by the resistance on this branch here. So that's 2 volts divided by 10 kilo ohm. Therefore, our current 2 times 10 to the negative 4 amperes.